Greetings, Winners. I'm Andre. And I'm George. And welcome back to the Windmill Full of Corpses. Today we're checking out Shadow of Intent, back to their first album, Primordial, Battle of the Magnot Sphere. Okay, so our first reaction to Shadow of Intent was pretty well received by you guys, so we decided to do another. And we've got this suggestion from William Johansson and Potato Face. So I gotta give a shout out to Potato Face for the username. Epic. Really cool username. Epic username, yes, we should have gone for that for the YouTube channel name. Okay. So, I think, yeah, but we don't have potato faces. Death Corp, Ben Dua, some more of that stuff. I was gonna say things. Oh yeah, original video will be down below as per usual, You so you can check it out there. With all the links on Shadow of Intent and the likes, and I don't think we have anything else to say. Except you all who are watching us are awesome and please don't go away. Yes, thank you very much for staying, and tell your friends. Okay, Battle of the Magian of Speed. Okay, Whew. how does he not run out of breath? I don't know, but this is the kind of song that you create a life goal out of to learn and rap in your car when your kids are five and leave them speechless. You plan to have kids? I would just for that moment. Like, this is the kind of song you make, you have kids over. So, okay, uh, it's what I've noticed in the previous song that I also on. This is the kind of song you have kids over. <laughs> okay, now you hear it. Okay, now I heard it. I apologize. <laughs> no, unless, what, unless you're into that. I mean, you can choose whatever music you want. Okay, know. we'll stop with that right there. Can I get into the actual music comments? Yes. Okay, so what I noticed on this song and also on the previous one that we've checked out from Primordial is that they do a lot more changes and a lot more dynamic songwriting and a lot more blasting sections. And I've also noticed on the later stuff, the instrumental tends to space out when they have leads. It doesn't here. They've got blast beats and dynamic riffs and they just shred on top of that. So that's awesome. And breakdown. Breakdown. Yeah, but I think they actually do space out every now and then on the breakdown, actually. I think that was a bit of a... Well, I wouldn't say breather moment, because it almost snapped my neck off, mm -hmm. but breather in the sense of complexity, like it fell into a pattern that you could follow and stayed in it for a while. And then I love how the, that eerie guitar melody just flew into that. What I want to say is, this album feels like an entirely different Shadow of Intent. Already second song in, it does feel like Shadow of Intent, especially in this song, I get a lot more of the elements that I know from them than I did in the previous one, because that was all instrumental and you can go bananas in a lot of ways when you do that. Yeah. This felt more like the Shadow of Intent I know from Melancholy, but it's still very different in terms of sound primarily. The drums are a bit more mechanical and plasticky, I'd say. Not exactly in a bad way, I think it flows well with the spacey atmosphere they have going on here. Yeah. And... Some vocals, man! 
What's yeah. up with this guy? How does he do it? Yeah, I, I think we might consider that Ben Doer might be alien, which the cover of this album tends to suggest. Do you have anything else to say? He's the best vocalist in deathcore ever. Go. Okay. Take a deep breath. That ending actually reminded me a bit of the ending from Baron Breath's Macrocosm. Yes. The orchestral is cutting out. Yes. Yes, definitely. Oh boy. Man, so many things happened. So, we did actually get what, what I was saying about the riffs and everything sort of spacing out. Teaming out and leaving some more room for the solo. We definitely got that here and it was so, so good. That solo on the end was beautiful, man. Very few bands make solos. This technically insane and diverse and all over the place that still sound like so epic yeah, kind and of melodic and coherent and expressive. It's like the instruments in Shadow of It tend to have character. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I definitely you don't, get that. You don't usually get an extreme metal, especially in like tech death or death or instruments sounding so animated. Yeah. Usually they're all just very techy. I get what you're saying there. I think they actually get I think from some reviews that I've heard, I think they actually get a lot of shit over their solos being too basic. And maybe from a compositional perspective, if you're a musician, you can feel that. But as, as a listener, they do come across as shocking, like in, in the way that most of their musical elements are shocking. They definitely have that shock factor and technique. And because they have also these more slower melodies with deep bending strings intertwined in there, you really get a lot of emotion with that. So I think that's enough for praising the solo. Let me get one thing out of the way for anyone who disagrees with this. Mm. That solo was not basic. It was not basic because it went through a number of like rhythm changes mm -hmm. and it went from like fast stuff to epic stuff to like maybe it's basic like, I don't know, not going through 10,000 scales, but it's not basic as far as just playing proficiency and emotion put into the playing goes because it's it just flows so well i definitely got that so one more thing i wanted to comment on is that earlier on i think shortly after we got the breaks we got my sugar riffs i mean yes that kind of stuff that was such a throwback to bleed and 
if you know anything about Meshuga, you know bleed. So I didn't bother to place it near Meshuga because it's in a completely different like atmosphere and soundscape. And I gotta get into the atmosphere and the mood they create again because well I got this from the last song we checked out as well and also from this one. It's a lot more cinematic. It's not so much like melancholy is apocalyptic, I would say. Yeah. And sorrowful. Yes. And this is more like cinematic. It feels like action movie score. Yes, yes, yes. It feels like sci-fi action movie score. And it feels like it's it feels like it's it belongs in the kind of movie where the soundtrack is too good for the movie. Can you make that good a movie? I said to match the soundtrack, though. Yeah, I don't know. For a soundtrack like this. Can you make a movie that would actually fit? Yes. Shadow of Intent music. I don't know. Because the music sounds like it could use a movie, but I don't know if you can actually make a movie that would fit the... Yeah. Shadow of Intent. We're going to have to go through their whole stuff. Everything. Yeah. So we got we got a couple more suggestions from this album, and we'll probably be doing more from Prime Ordeal. So thanks for stopping by. Yeah, and we've got to dive into Reclaimer as well. Anyway. If you enjoyed this video, we greatly appreciate the likes and shares. And if you want to see more of us, don't forget to subscribe with bells on. Thank you very much for stopping by. We hope you enjoyed your stay and we'd love to see you back at the windmill very soon. Corpse is out.